But between the regulators and the auditors, the environment certainly has the potential to be dangerous for companies. Are there any survival strategies that you can recommend for our viewers to take when people are going to be looking at their internal controls? There are many survival strategies that we have seen companies implement that have been very effective for them. One of the most important ones is to create a single source of truth for both the risks that you're trying to address, the assessments of those risks, the controls in place to deal with those risks, and the effectiveness and the evidence related to those controls. And here's why that's so important. Most companies have a tower of babel if you will, about the controls that they're trying to address. They may be t articulating those controls in a risk control matrix that may be kept in a, a spreadsheet. And those spreadsheets may be scattered around their, their, their organizations and they don't have any way to aggregate the risks and the controls related to those to, in any way to assess whether or not they are being consistent across the organization or consistent across time. Now that's essential to an auditor, of course. If they're going to design tests, they need to know the population from which they can draw. So when companies complain that an auditor is testing now eight or nine of their units, when before they were happy with testing three or four, why? are they now demanding so much more evidence and so many more examples that to demonstrate that they're being consistent and that the answer is simply most companies can't demonstrate to their own satisfaction let alone to the auditor's satisfaction that they are being consistent across their organizations or that they're being consistent in their processes around time. Well one of the things Becky I think companies could spend a little more time focusing on is the, the process that takes place when the control is operating uh, you may have a complex management level type control. Well, what is the person doing? What did they do? What evidence did they obtain? And are they actually obtaining it at the time that the control is, is functioning and operating? And are they retaining it in a way that is accessible to auditors and to others after the fact?